Hey loves, welcome to today's episode of Body Love TV. Um, today is November 11th and it's Veterans Day here in the US so we're going to be talking all about um, service and courage and gratitude because those are the, the predominant emotions at least for me when I think about what Veterans Day means. So as some of you know, I myself am a veteran of our armed forces. I uh, attended the U.S. Naval Academy and I graduated in 2007, which I'm very proud and grateful to have been able to do. Um, I also have a lot of family members that are in the military and very good friends who are still active duty. So I want to start today by saying thank you to my brother, Patrick Parrish, to my friend Will Shreve, and to the many others that I know who are still serving our country in the armed forces today. We are so grateful for your service. And uh, I want to talk just a little... Hey, thanks, shipmate. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about um, really what inspired me to join the military, and we'll kind of launch it from there. Uh, please jump in with your input and your thoughts and your questions as we go. But I just want to start it off today by sharing a little of my own experience and then we'll open it up to, and this is everybody's conversation. So my experience was that I grew up really wanting to make a difference and make an impact. And I always knew that I wanted to do something that was going to let me um, serve my country, society, and the world in a greater way than just, you know, my own success or happiness. Um, so I went to the service academy because I grew up in a house where... You know, we were very pro-military and there's a lot of people with military backgrounds, so I knew about the Naval Academy from a pretty early age and decided that is the place that's going to let me make the kind of contribution that I want to make. Um, so I went to the Academy and I rode for the crew team, which was an amazing experience in so many ways, and I'm so grateful for all of the uh, experiences that I had there. Unfortunately for me, I ended up... Um, through some of the things that we've talked about before, like not listening to my body, uh, ended up with some pretty severe back problems. So I had to have two surgeries my senior year, and then I graduated and was commissioned, but I kind of hung out in this like limited duty GIMP status for a little while before I was medically discharged. And for me, when that happened, I felt like, what is going to become of my life now? Because I thought, the only way really that I had ever imagined myself serving was to be in the military. And when that was taken away from me and the career that I thought I was going to have as a naval officer was taken away from me, I had to kind of regroup on what it would mean for me to serve. Um, and so I'm sure there's many people out there in this position who are struggling to add more meaning to their lives. And maybe you're just feeling unhappy or unsettled. And I can tell you that it doesn't matter if you put on a uniform or not. I mean... Let me, it totally matters, and it's amazing if you put on a uniform, and we are so grateful to the people who serve and wear uniforms. But even those of us who are not active duty in any service branch have the opportunity to serve. We can all give back. Um, and I think that is the ultimate gesture of gratitude and the ultimate way to pay forward the sacrifice that men and women in the military make is by us digging deep and finding ways to look outside ourselves and make an impact um, because by being good citizens and by serving that country in that way, I think that, you know it's the ultimate gesture of gratitude and saying thank you to our troops. So um, in my own experience, I spent a few years after getting out of the military just kind of like looking for a soft place to land, found a job, was getting my feet under me. Um, and it wasn't until several years later that I fell into the world of plus size modeling and body positivity and things like what I'm doing with you guys today. That is how I serve now because I think it's really important for everybody to feel like they can live at full amplitude. Um, so what I try to do is create a dialogue and use content to help people love their bodies more. And that's my form of service now. Um, Hi, Hellman. Thanks for hopping on today. Uh, Hellman is joining us, and I just want to shout out to him really quickly because he is a wounded warrior. He was wounded in action on September 11th in 2009, and it was pretty cool because this year on September 11th, 2016, he rode in the Paralympics on behalf of the United States. So if you want to talk about somebody who has served in uniform and made the ultimate sacrifice for his country, um, Hellman has, you know, really 
in my mind, he embodies what it means to be a hero. So thank you, Hellman, for being on the call today. And we all really celebrate and appreciate what you do and the way that you've continued to use your body and your athleticism um, to represent the United States, even after the injury. So uh, thank you for that. <laughs> and um, I, I just want to, you know, talk for a minute a little more about that idea of service. So when when I was discharged, I thought, there goes my chance. I'm never going to have another way to serve society because my career as an officer got derailed. Um, and, you know, I think people like Hellman can probably relate to this when you suffer an injury or there's an unexpected turn of events that takes away that way that you were serving. Um, it can be, it can be really painful and it can be saddening, but, uh, you know, Hellman's an example of somebody who overcame that, um, in my own experience, in my own way, I overcame that as well. And I think that no matter who you are and where you are in the world, you have the opportunity to make an impact. And I think that's what I want to focus on today because that is the ultimate gesture of gratitude to our troops is finding a way to serve and finding a way to make an impact in society. And we can do that using our bodies and our bodies are vitally important to that. So it's all related here on Body Love TV. Um, your body, if as long as you keep yourself from living at full amplitude as long as you let your body or your unhappiness with your body be a reason that you don't live all out and give everything that you have to give this world, you're holding out on people. You're holding back and you're not able to fully serve the way that you could. So finding ways to love your body more, get more comfortable with your body, take care of your body. Um, you can make your body a tool through which you serve society. So that is the importance of body love. That's the reason that I have made this my life's work and think it's so vitally important. People like Hellman are examples of how you can use your body in really cool ways, despite whatever's happened to you, um, to continue to serve society and do some good. And I know there's so many more people out there who have stories to share, so please feel free to jump in and share what your experience has been. If you have family members that you wanna give a shout out to, type their name below and I'll be sure to acknowledge them. Uh, but we are just all together today to talk about Veterans Day and body love and courage and service and gratitude. So a note on courage, because we haven't really talked a lot about that yet. Um, courage can have many forms. And I think that when you're somebody who serves in, in uniform, uh, a lot of people will say that they don't really feel like they're courageous or heroes in the moment because Courage is sometimes muddled with feelings of fear or uncertainty, um, frustration, like all of those things coexist. So just because you're in a situation where you feel afraid or you feel somehow limited or you feel frustrated by what's happening, it doesn't mean that you are unable of heroism or incapable of heroism. And I think that's a really important point today because of the events of this week in America. There's so many people out there who have been really angry and hurt and saddened and disappointed. And this isn't a political talk, so I'm not going to go into, you know, which side of the fence anybody's on or views on that. I just want to say that I think no matter where you are in the world, no matter whether you feel like your government serves and represents you adequately or not, you were capable of heroism and you can be somebody else's hero. And the way that you do that is to look outside yourself and find somebody to serve. And whether that's the United States, whether that's the LGBT community, whether that's curvy bodied women and body positivity, um, maybe you serve in your church, maybe you help the homeless, maybe you rebuild structures in a downtrodden neighborhood, whatever form your service takes, um, that is where you get to shine. That is where you get to show us your heroism. And we need you to do that because without your contributions, we stay stuck as a society. We stay stuck in fear. We stay stuck in a lack of productivity. We stay, stay stuck in um, poverty and hunger and all of those things that can bring us and our human condition down. The way that we all rise is to rise together and for each of us to commit to serve in some way. And it, you know, again, putting on the uniform and serving country, your country in a, in a way that puts you in harm's way is something that deserves tremendous acknowledgement and gratitude. But there are so many ways that you can serve. 
So there's not just one way to do it. And that was a big lesson that I had to take away from my experience of being medically discharged from the military is that there were other ways for me to contribute. And it took me a couple years to get back to a place where um, I could see that and I found a way to serve. But once you do that, you're accessing all the best parts of you. And then suddenly the things that maybe make you feel afraid or small don't seem so big anymore because as you start to really push outside your own shell and your own comfort zone, um, I think you discover that there's less to be afraid of than you thought and that you have less limitations on you than you thought. So I just wanna encourage everybody today to dig deep, to find some courage inside yourself, no matter what other feelings are mingled with that, no matter how frustrating, frustrating your situation may be, Look inside yourself for some courage to reach out to somebody else and serve in some way. It could be saying thank you. It could be complimenting somebody on their outfit. Those are small gestures of kindness and ultimately ways that we serve one another. Um, so, you know, find that courage within yourself. Step outside yourself and find somebody in your universe today that you can help in any small way. Um, give a dollar to a homeless person. Volunteer your time go out of your way to be extra kind and all of those little little forms of service add up and the more that you do serve in little ways you get guided to bigger ways to serve um and i don't talk a lot about faith or you know my political views or any of that stuff because i know that that can be contentious for people but what i will just say is that the one thing that guides everything i do that has always guided everything i've done is the desire to serve um, and I do believe there's a higher power at play that when we, you know, surrender the outcome of our lives to service and say, just use me to serve. And whether you pray to God, to Buddha, to the universe, um, or maybe you don't pray at all and you just, you know, don't engage spiritually with that, just finding that way that you can serve and making your life kind of a living sacrifice to others brings out the best in you. It brings about the best outcome for everybody around you. Um, and then that's where gratitude comes into play. So Veterans Day is all about gratitude. It's an entire day set aside to be thankful to the people that protect our right to live the way that we do in the United States and who actually um, contribute to protecting and defending um, the sanctity of human life and quality of life and the rights of everyone around the world. So this is a global holiday. This is a global day of gratitude and acknowledgement. And it's a day, <laughs> it's a day to remind ourselves that we have so much to be grateful for. Not everybody in the world gets to live the way that we do. Over the course of human history, you know, we enjoy more freedom and privileges and um, qual a better quality of life than any society that has ever preceded us. If you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we all get to live in the top two tiers of that pyramid right now for the most part, and that's incredible. And then that requires of us that we reach our hand back to those who might be struggling to survive, who might need food, clothing, and shelter, uh, and personal safety, which is what our troops provide. So we, we look outside ourselves, we find the courage to reach back and help people who need help to serve in some way. And then we receive gratitude for our contributions. We give gratitude. And before you know it, like we've created this beautiful chain of good deeds and actions that extends, you know, over the entire globe. And there are examples of that everywhere if you look for it. So while I know so many of us have been in pain this week and we're fearful about the future. We aren't sure what, you know, the future of our country looks like. The good news is that we still have a modicum of control over our lives and over our experience on this planet. And the way that we can control our experience is to, again, focus on serving others, focus on being grateful to those that are serving already, and looking for inner courage to find more and bigger ways to pay that um, gratitude forward and serve. Um, so I think that's probably it for today, but I just really want to thank everybody for tuning in and encourage you to get out there and find a way to serve. So thank you again to our men and women in uniform. Thank you to Papi Chula, uh, Hellman Roman for tuning in today. We're so grateful to have you and everybody, please take good care of yourselves and your beautiful bodies and find a way to serve today. Bye.